And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Teemo. All right, we got a, a donation deck. This was one to build around Teemo Callista. Um, and uh, we're going to be going with a whole bunch of puff caps. All right, so our goal here is um, uh, our goal here is to, to get a leveled up Callista, right? And whenever leveled up Callista attacks, we bring back the strongest um, dead allied follower, and we want that to be Chumpwump. So Callista is going to be bringing back Chumpwump, and each time Chumpwump comes back, we get two more Mushroom Clouds. And so we can just try to keep getting more Mushroom Clouds like that, and then we send all those Mushroom Clouds over to the opponent and pair that with Puffcap Peddler, try to get them a whole bunch of Puff Caps, and then once they have a bunch of Puff Caps, maybe hit them with Teemo once or twice. Um, you know, we don't really have any way to protect Teemo. We don't really... Um, so it's not going to be necessarily like a play Teemo turn one kind of thing. It's going to be like a try to get him a bunch of puff caps, try to hit him with a Teemo and a leveled up Teemo and double the poison puff caps. And then they have just a bunch. Um, and then after that, you know, we, we also have like the veteran investigator. So they draw an extra card. Um, so, that, you know, get them to draw more puff caps. And finally, we have... Uh, in the top end, we got one Commander Ledros. Because you play Commander Ledros, you cut the enemy Nexus in half, and now you only have to do like half the damage with all of your Puff Caps. So then hopefully, you know, so then that can that can just really help your your Puff Caps uh, finish them off if you cut cut their life total in half. So that's what we got going on here. Um, I I was kind of looking at what, you know, I was like thinking, okay, how am I going to be leveling up Callista? And I was thinking, wait, what about Used Cask Salesman, where we can play this get two caustic casks that helps you know that helps with like puff cap damage basically and then um you know and and then it can also be like two little zero one blockers to help keep us alive a little longer and then that also it could be two things dying for Callista, and then put in a couple of chroniclers of ruin that can either revive the salesman and we get the extra uh, casks back again to level up the Callista, or we can uh kill the chump wump you know, you, we can use Chronicle of Ruin to kill Chumpwump, so we can have a dead Chumpwump for leveled up Callista. Plus, Chumpwump again is a summon trigger, so if we Chronicle of Ruin the Chumpwump, then we get more Mushroom Clouds again. Um, and then, you know, again, just more more and more Mushroom Clouds to give them with these Peddlers. Uh, and then besides that, it's a lot of removal. We got some Warden's Praise just to just to sit in the way. Um I kind of went I went with Warden's Prey over anything else, over like Hapless Aristocrat, all that kind of stuff. Warden's Prey is high, high variance, where there's a lot of uh, really good last breath cards to hit. But then there's there's like a couple of them that are really bad, like right, like getting like the Undying. We don't really want that. Getting, you can hit Caustic Cask. That's a pretty bad one. Even, um... Even Cursed Keeper, not really one that we want. So, like, there's there's some high variance there, but I like the card. Going to go with that. Um, uh, let's see. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of about it. Then just a whole bunch of removal spells, because you want spells to go with Peddler. So a lot of removal spells. We got some card draw with two Glimpse Beyonds, two Progress Days. So we can go find more Teemos, go find, find more of our cards, find more removal and be able to play a longer game. All right, so Spooky Teemo, here we go. Um, yeah, I mean, Hapless Aristocrat always gets you a two one ones, and Warden's Prey, while at times will be a little bit worse than that, most of the time will be better. Most of the time, your last breath, your other last breath card that you're getting is going to be better than a, than a Spiderling, most of the time. But there will be a couple of times where it will be worse. But I'm, I'm just going to take take the better card um, over the long period of time, and I'm going to be playing that card. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put back Veteran Investigator. That's going to be something that I want in the late game after we give him a bunch of puff caps. And I'll put back the Gotcha. Same kind of thing. I'll keep these two. Mystic Shot kills both of their three drops. Whether it's the the three two life steal or um, or the jaw hunters, you know, we can use that to protect Peddler. Plus, I also just like Warden Spray better with Chronicler of Ruin. I mean, I I would just rather I would 
Again, we'd rather be creating that than just a Spiderling. Spiderling is just not very valuable. Yeah, I know that there will be times that there will be times that Warden's Prey is worse, but over over like over the long haul, I think that it just on average just gonna it's better than a Spiderling. You know, because there's times you'll get Legion Grenadier, which will be amazing. There's times where you'll just get the um, the one one mage seeker that the, then that will die, and then after that dies, you get um, you know you get like some sweet six plus cost spell. And like that kind of stuff, like you know it's low chance of happening, but those kind of games can just completely win them for you. Go straight to combat. Eat the trash! Eat the trash! <laughs> we shall not rest until all the trailers <laughs> Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! <laughs> I understand you still need to, to pay mana for it. I understand. Well, they'll probably be deep this next turn. So they only have three puff caps left. They they tossed a lot of cards with puff caps. Man, they only have six puff caps. They just those three cards they tossed were all had all three puff caps. That's a ripoff. Okay, so they're at 14 cards, 8 puff caps. Um, I think this is where I start giving them a lot of puff caps. Or at least try to. Have eleven. This may need this thermogenic beam for like the elusive card. Killing this devourer just does nothing. That's true. The elusive does draw them a card. That's a good call. That, that's true. That's actually kind of good for us, isn't it? All right. Yeah. Let's let's just kill this. 
I wish I could just do one mana with the Thermogenic. I guess I could play the Shark Chariot first and then just do one one damage. I guess I, I could have just done that. Um, I don't know why I was saying I wish I could have, because I could have. 14 and 14. If I attack out, they block three things. Take two. Then I don't I don't have a blocker for Nautilus. Alright, love it. We got another investigator. No. So 12 and 12. Mmm. That's bad. 9 and 8. Status high. An expert is at work. Alright, that's a good vile feast. That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. So we get to keep them from gaining life. Well, that should be challenging first, not last. Eight and seven. <laughs> okay, we. Those are not. Those are not good ones. Obviously, we're just gonna be saving the, saving the spell mana. Oh, that, that could be good. Okay, wait, let's see. If I play this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I cannot play this and progress day. <sighs> they didn't draw any puff caps there. Hmm. What's better, progress day? Or this chronicler? So this is just drawing an extra two cards, right? Like this would be drawing one card. This is drawing an extra, extra two cards. I kind of feel like Chronicler may be better. Steel. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe I should just chronicler. I don't know. This is obviously a huge problem. Well, I can stay alive. Um, atrocity kills me, obviously, now. Like, now I, I cannot stay alive from Atrocity, but I can stay alive, just in general. Darn. I think if they don't have atrocity, I think that we probably win. You know, if they can't, if they, if they can't kill me this turn and they have to wait till wait one another attack step, like we're gonna we're gonna win that. Close game. They had they had a great hand. They did. Ggs. I think that overall, I think we're gonna be pretty good against deep. I wouldn't mind playing against that. Playing that same matchup, but 
Um, yeah, they went deep really fast, of course, with the jettison and the two one drops. Um, you know, and then they had, you know, d leveled up Devourer, you know, a deep Devourer on turn six. And then Nautilus on seven. And then another deep, dev you know, another Devourer on eight with all the other stuff, too. Um, you know, that's, that's a great hand. I know, right? Why don't they toss Atrocity? And then, yeah, even after all that, if they just don't have Atrocity, if they would have tossed Atrocity, um, I think we would have won that. All right, Progress Day going to go... These are three key cards for me, but it's a little awkward with, like, the three, three, four. Um, so I'm going to mulligan Callista because I, I want the Peddler Chump Womp part. I think that's the most important part. All right, Fizz getting in there. You'll fight or you'll swim. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. So they want to attack with Fizz. They have to play a spell. Okay, that's a spell. other peddler going I'm not greedy my friends though tough to attack, but maybe it's the better play to attack because it, you know, it does 4 damage to them. But it's so many puff caps, potentially. I'd be losing out on... I don't want to attack, but I feel like maybe I need to. I don't like doing this. Take it up with my friends. My pretty. But I think with the pressure that Fizz puts on us, it's something I need to do. Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. And we know they have that warning shot. This is basically the Bilgewater, it seems like it's pretty much like the Bilgewater elusive deck, but then playing Swift, uh, playing some champions with Fizz and Sejuani. Not bad. That... Is there a better card for them to draw with, from their Yordle Grifter, the Mystic Shot? <laughs> is that the best card? Possible that's the best card. My selection speaks for itself. Away, Your 
Rafael. Dang. That's two amazing cards they got from me. Oh, I meant to play Mushroom Cloud also before the Peddler dies. Meant to play that first. Lost out on three Puff Caps. Should be 26. play that thing anymore and that is game well the slow puff cap deck is going to struggle against the super aggro it's kind of gives you another reason why I was unfortunate to lose the previous one like the deep matchup like that's that's one where we need to win because then we get paired against something really aggressive like that we're gonna you know then we lose but Again, another great hand, another, um, you know, another great, like, absolute great nab cards. The two cards that hit was Mystic Shot and Get Excited. Just gotta tip your cap to him sometimes. Thing about variants doesn't always go your way. My heart wants to play Teemo and strike with Teemo. The chains, they never stop. But I'm going to wait. <gasps> try to get leveled up Teemo and try to get the protection from a leveled up Teemo first. And so I don't want to play the Warden's Prey and then they go make it rain. I'm worried about that. I like having the Glimpse Beyond to be able to respond with. But I'm also glad we didn't play the, the turn one Teemo and not get any damage in because we didn't have the attack token turn one. They would have definitely used the t the Maker Rain to kill the Teemo. Yeah, that one cost gotcha was pretty gross. And see, this is this is why that Warden's Prey is really good. You know, we got Yeti Yearling, we got Legion Grenadier. These are a lot better than Spiderlings. You know, like a spiderling's not taking a death's hand. So my plan is to play Peddler. Have a mushroom. Have three. We'll try giving them a bunch of chance to um, play some spell and, and use their mana first. By my hand will Noxus rise. Mm. I got ways to find me mushroom. I basically didn't play, even though, like, it would have been better to play that one Mushroom Cloud 
previous, you know, like, before they drew. But I basically didn't so that they didn't have the ability to... Um, to play something else. And that I got to go to the next turn and refill my spell mana. So the 4-3 dying does help Callista if we get a leveled up Callista. That's not going to be super easy. Gotta start worrying about like Leviathan and Riptide Rex and all that kind of great stuff next turn. Which it looks like that's what they got, how they're just not doing anything. Like that's those are probably the cards in hand that they have. We're at thirteen of fifteen for Timo. Glad we got the peddler. So Rex or Leviathan, which one? Leviathan. It would be nice playing a game where they didn't have either one. That would be nice. We know that's not gonna happen. Okay. There are 10 cards in hand. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Grand General! Oh, there was a little fella asking for me. Need to start piling up these puff caps. They're at seven. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? I will break. Victory awaits.
I don't really know why they wouldn't attack with Leviathan, but I sure hope they don't. Just game because they also have the warning shot that, that does this, so the the Swain is just gonna kill all these things now. Um, so let's see. So that's five, nine, twelve. Yeah, I mean it's just game. The Vandal Scout tries harder every time. That's too tough. That with that three extra mana, like that. That's pretty awesome, right? Like, or whoops, that should be on three. You know, that turn on turn 9, they got to play Swain and play Twisted Fate. Goal card to turn all my 3-2s into, into 3-1s. And then they had the 3 spell mass. So then they got to play Parlay and Parlay and Ravenous Flock. And then they would also have Warning Shot to stun something. All sorts of stuff. Yeah, honestly, I, pr I probably should have just mulligan Teemo for that matchup. I probably should have. Okay, discard deep. This is one. This is one where they don't have much removal, so this is a perfect matchup for Teemo. We're definitely going to be playing our Teemo on turn one and attacking with it and having our Warden's Prey for defense, and it looks. Looks like I guess I'll go with my defense right away. Yeah, I didn't have the attack token turn one, and so yeah, all the Mega Reigns and Parlays, like they were so ready for Teemo. I guess that's a, a lesson learned that with that matchup I should just have mulligan. I was hoping for a Mage Seeker. Thorny Toad's not bad. I was hoping for like the Mage Seeker card where I'd be able to just play that. So yeah, like they draw a lot of cards, right? So like our puff caps are going to be good. Mm. Normally I'd go with Peddler, but I'm not really blocking with Peddler. I guess I could. I guess I could block with Peddler, since they don't do much damage. We can block with Peddler. A mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Cool. Don't even have to. I can't level up Teemo. I can't give him 10 puff caps here, I don't think. Uh, yeah, because Chump Wump gives him 8. This gives him 6 if I double spell. Um, Peddler plus Valfeast gives them 6 also, so I'm not leveling up Teemo. Beforehand. I am so glad they didn't kill Teemo. 
Well, I guess they. I guess if they would have gone there, I could have gone double bile feast. No, you, you just gain and lose points depending on, you know, whether you win or lose. And so right now I have 75 points. We'll go chump up next turn with these. I want this other thorny toad for another blocker. If Teemo hits him here, we're in great shape if we get to double up. That's something we haven't done in any of these games. We've never hit him hit any opponent with a leveled up Teemo. Thank you, gotcha. Thank you for being awesome. This right here in particular seems like just a, a wonderful matchup for our deck, how they just don't really have much removal and, and they just draw tons and tons and tons of cards. So, um, you know, if if Discard Deep becomes really popular, Teemo and Puff Cap Peddler is really the way to fight it. Cause I mean, but they only drew one Puff Cap? 25 cards, 69 Puff Caps, they drew one. I want more things to die so I have more room for stuff. Twenty-five and eighty. Let's go ahead and both draw a card. That's fair. <laughs> They're gonna draw one puff cap a turn. Yeah, I can't stop that one. Officer J S Hawkjaw, you did There we go. We'll take four, that's better. And that should be game. Yeah, last card, 65 puff caps. They all just go on the bottom card. There we go. Because it, it just shuts down that deck. Because that deck is all about just drawing and, and churning through the deck with all sorts of card draw. 
And you can't do that if you just have all those puff caps. It doesn't have it doesn't have life gain. So this this deck is a perfect answer to that discard deep deck that's becoming kind of popular. So one and three. Wish we were two and two with the first match being that discard deep. That. Um, or just regular deep, sorry, just, just regular deep that I think that we would win most of the time, but I just had a, a great hand and we ended up losing. This deck's kind of coming back, the They Who Endure deck's coming back. Not the best hands. Yeah, you get something like you get something between like 15 to 25 LP for each win and loss. It's I don't know, there's some kind of scale of like how much LP you have compared to however much LP your opponent has. So you just get somewhere in the 15 to 25 range. Chris, what's up? Teemo is the best champ. I agree. Thank you, Chris. I agree. All right, even if they have removal, we got Glimpse Beyond. Draw a couple cards. Slippery. Wow. Their hand must have been really bad. <laughs> Because they didn't do anything turn one, didn't do anything turn two. Turn three, I'm attacking with a Teemo, and they're like, yeah, I got nothing. So yeah, we only got 15 LP for that. So they're like, they're like, I got nothing. Yeah, they, I guess they just didn't have any answer to the Teemo. So, I don't know. I mean, that's a win. Um, let's play, let's just play an extra. I'm going to count it as a win in the record books. Let's play an extra for some fun, because this is a fun deck. And you know, this was a donation deck. I want to play another game. That last one wasn't really a game. So we're going to play another one. Ooh, Karina Control. I don't want them to have their aggro elite stuff, right? Like, I want them to have, like, slow... Slow removal stuff. Gotcha is kind of weird. Gotcha kills Elise, but at a lot of mana, four mana. Not turn two, where they'd already attack on turn two. And by the time we would use Gotcha, we'd have these things. So I'm gonna mulligan this Gotcha. Yuck. I don't. I guess the the Vengeance isn't too bad because it kills Vi. Alright, well, we'll play turn two investigator to be a blocker. You won't suffer long. Yeah, I wanted to draw a gotcha turn two. That was my plan. It didn't work. We are drawing all of our removal spells, which not exactly what you want against the removal deck that has great nine drops that kill you. You don't really want only removal spells. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. Go ahead and draw Puff Cap. Go ahead. Hmm. They didn't draw Puff Cap. I know what lurks in the shadows. Uh, 
That team are probably gonna die. What's up, Potato? I'm testing a deck made around a sleight of hand, consistently taking their tools mid game. And against Frostbite mid range, I took an Archer turn three, and turn four got a Hearth Guard and a Caddo. <laughs> they conceded. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Awesome, very nice. All right, gonna give him that, then we'll just play another Investigator. I don't want Vile Feast. All right, maybe I should end up, maybe I should've just Thermogenic Beamed. We could use a bite. They just will not tap out. I just, I'm just never gonna be able to hit him with a Teemo, will they? Like, like, will they're never gonna let me hit him with a Teemo? I think this is just as good a time as any to try. Made them spend five mana to kill my Teemo at least. They're good at doing one damage. I don't even want to attack and, and trade with one, you know, kill one Spiderling for one damage. Like, I don't even want that because they're good at doing one damage. Um... Hey, lab works. Three month sub. You are awesome. Thank you so much, there, lab works. Keeping that sub going. First sub of the day. Is that our first sub of the day? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, I had a donation deck two hours ago, and I didn't even notice. From Anumand. I'm sorry, Anuman, if you're still in here. Uh, that was two hours ago. I will, uh, yeah, now at least I noticed, so I'll recognize that one there. My bad. <laughs> Thanks, Lavarx, thank you. Okay, so now they got the nine mana, now they can tr start dropping Karina, Veraza, and Stuff like that. Oh, gas. Come, stay a while. Ah, well, no nine drop. For me. I've 
always been a fun guy. Get him another three puff caps. We want to draw progress day. We had two progress days in here. That's what we want to draw. Progress day. Vengeance isn't the worst. But progress day. What is that better? So Glimpse Beyond, not so bad, but Glimpse Beyond probably gets... Probably gets ruined like that. But yeah, we want Progress Day. Progress Day. Yeah, there it is. Finally, 18 cards deep. That's a good one. Don't want to play the investigator right now while they have all this free, like all this extra mana. I'm gonna pass over to them. All right, so how many... All right, so they're at 18 and 19. We want to, them to obliterate five cards, but, like, no puff caps. We want them to have, like, 19 puff caps still. Let's see if that happens. Um, I'm going to sacrifice this thing. It's harder for them to kill. Like, where if I sacrifice the one damage thing, they just go, like, static shock or whatever. Yeah, still mystic shot. Still pretty easy for them to kill, but a little bit more difficult. Each Let's see how many they got rid of. They got rid of 13 puff caps with the five cards. That's too bad. Status hide. An expert is at work. I want to draw another progress day. My Let's get the other one. Progress day. Love it. Avros and Sentry, miles better than what... Um... Nothing escapes my watch. Than what a spiderling would be. So I'm I'm too worried to cast progress day, then they play like Commander Ledros, I just lose. So I think I have to just go end round. We're deep? Why do we do the deep thing? Is that kind of weird? Do we have deep cards? Have a mushroom. Have three. 
Yeah, all decks do the deep thing no matter what. play this gotcha just to give him six more puff caps. Yeah, I'm going to. I don't really want to play this peddler and then they just use whatever other spell to kill my peddler again. Like kill kill this kill this peddler. I don't know, their deck didn't do the deep thing. So it can't just be all decks, because theirs didn't. It must be something in our deck creates things that are deep. Or has the ability to create things that are deep. Ledros puff caps. <sighs> they drew zero. I didn't play like Peddler or Teemo because of sorry because of Ruination. So 13 mana. Nothing like the great outdoors. See, like now I'm at the point where now, like on this turn, I would like them to play Ruination here. Because if they play Ruination, I just put Ledros back into my hand and then replay Ledros. So they can't really do that. With playing Teemo. So we get to play the Teemo pre-combat now. So now we gotta have answers for both of them. Which they do. Which they do. Now. Vengeance. And we have a mystic shot. Two. I kind of want them to draw two puff caps. Yeah, I'll send around. We'll just draw two puff caps. GG. <laughs> Style point. All right. Oh, oh, is that maybe that's why we had that's why I did the deep because of it was okay. We figured it out. That was my quest. The daily quest was to go deep. The puff cap dream. There we go. The slow, you know, those slow decks. There's a lot of slow control decks running around these days, and these slow control decks, uh, you can get that Teemo stuff going. So. Got to do some cool things. We didn't get to go like Chronicler into Chumplump or have leveled up Callista bring back Chumplump. You know, like that was that's kind of like what our deck's supposed to be doing. Um, but it's not super easy to pull that kind of stuff off. But the progress days were amazing. Um, you know, definitely really liked Gotcha and just like this slower spell. The Withering Whale didn't look good. Honestly, Withering Whale should probably be Static Shock, so you get the extra card draw. Static Shock may be just better than Withering Whale right now. 
Maybe not. I don't know. Our deck is going to struggle against the, the real aggressive decks, and actually I probably want Withering Will in those matchups instead. So, no, this is a Withering Will. Yeah, I think so, Potato. Uh, yeah, did you... I don't have it written down in front of me, but was this your... This was, was the donation deck for um, somebody asking for a Teemo, Callista, um, Ledros deck. And this is what I put together. Yeah, so yeah, I think that, yeah, I think that was yours. Um, but yeah, this so this was pretty cool. The salesman that was that was a little little cheeky, nice nice way to level up the Callista and get him that extra damage because you know like when you have Ledros and Puff Caps, you need all that little extra damage you can. Warden's Prey looked great the first game. Warden's Prey did not look good, um, but then the other games after that it looked great. You know like we were getting. Uh, Legion Grenadier a bunch, and then we got that Avros and Sentry that last game, which was awesome. I am definitely a fan of Warden's Prey, and it it overall it was so much better than what Hapless Aristocrat would be. Um, and then yeah, Veteran Investigator kind of did its thing. Draw some more cards, draw some puff caps, did its thing. All right, so there we go, Spooky Timo. That was, that was a pretty fun one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what y'all thought of Spooky Teemo. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.